Hi, welcome to We Play Golf. Today we're going to show you the ABC in your routine for chipping. ABC. Welcome back to We Play Golf. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Today we're at La Manga Golf Resort and I want to learn you what it means to have an ABC in your pre-shot routine when you play your chip. Now, it is very important to know that A is the ball, B is the first bounce where you want the ball to land, and C, of course, is a cup. You want the ball as close as possible to the hole. Now, in the routine that you see with tour players is, they will first of all look at the lie of the ball, then they will consider what club they want to use, well, this time I'm going to use the Callaway Jaws. And I want, to, I want to know how far the ball needs to fly before it makes its first bounce. I can see that the ball is in a very nice position. The grass is fantastic here at La Manga. I just want to know one, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps to make my landing area. And then I still have one, two, three, four, almost five meters to get to the hole. I want to be past the hole so I can give it a chance. So I want to know this position here. How does it feel? Is there any slope? Yes, there is slope. So I might fancy to play a little bit more to the right side because of the slope going from right to left. I got position A where the ball lies, position B the first bounce and C the cup. Let's have a look how this works. I might need to land it a little further. That was better. Third one, just a nice practice. Know the A, know your B, and get close to C. Ooh. Next time when you start practicing your chip shots and you want to use the ABC, First of all, you know how the live the ball is, how far you have to hit the ball to get onto the B, and then how much room you have to get to C. According to the clip you use, you might have the B very close and the C very far, because like with a seven iron, you have more chip and run, and it will roll more. You know, I'm gonna show you that right away. So now I have a seven iron, and I know that the B will be a lot closer to me I don't have to travel that far to get onto the green and I have a lot of room to make the ball roll to the hole. This is how it looks like. I aim for the B and go as close as possible to the C. Not too bad. Slightly more because it's a little bit uphill. So your B will be a little bit further. Ooh. I might stop with that one. To make sure that you know where your B is, you need to practice this a lot. It's not only what three balls that you will know the speed of the green and how the ball will react when you chip the ball to the B and go back to the C. So you know where your A is, you want to know where the B is, and you want to know where the C is. The C is always going to be where the flag is, but the B will, will be different. If it's a wet green, uphill green, downhill green, you need to practice this a lot. This is how we play golf. See you next time. Okay. Okay. Welcome back to We Play Golf. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe. If you want to learn how to play golf on the easy way, that's the way you want to do it. Stop. That was also nothing. No, yeah. 